Oh, I know what we can do. We can do one thing before we leave, because I've been meaning to do this forever. And every time I stream, people ask me if we can see more of the server. And I never seem to have time. But I absolutely do have time right now. And we need to... Um, we need to repair our stuff. And it will not take very long, uh, because we have... Um, let me try to put away here bones. Uh, we have um, ender, ender, ender stuff happening. Oh, dropper that needs to go in the redstone. So we can go to the end, and we'll check that out, and we'll repair everything. If that's cool, I don't know if people want to see the ender, ender, or what. Could we see this placement zone? Yeah, absolutely. We can we can take the long way. We can take the long way and see this, the uh, displacement zone. Uh, I just need to put this glass away. Buckets, rockets, chicken. And I do need to make sure I've got this with me. All the things are in there. Solid. Yeah, okay, so slight change of plans. We'll do we'll take a look around before I log out and we'll go repair some of the items. Alright. Uh I don't think I need anything else. I've got my lighter on. So displacement zone. Well, let's take a look on the map, because you can see it clearly on the map, and then we'll go over and take a look at it. So we are right there. So that's my house. Can we zoom in? Yeah. So there's there's my house there, and there's the map. And the mine that we were just in is in here. And then this is spawn right there. And this is the iron farm. So we'll go to this like walkway. And you can see this is the displacement zone here. It's this big square of of stuff. And it, it extends out this way past off the map. But you can see all these chunks. You can if I back up a little bit. See these weird squares on the map? These are chunks. These are 16 by 16 chunks that are completely wrong. Like they're just in the wrong location. And they create these weird like skyscraper pieces of mountain. Uh, or, you know, you can see right here, the river just ends because this chunk is not where it's supposed to be. Um, but if we go over there, let's walk. That'd be kind of fun. But if we go over there, you'll be able to see that I've changed some of it. You can't really see a whole lot of it now from the walkway um, because I've been practicing some landscaping and I just wanted something to kind of chill out with at the end of the evening and stuff. And it's been fun to try and mess around with them and, and sort it out. So these are not um, displacement zone, zone, uh, zone chunks. These are just the way that Minecraft naturally spawned in some of this area. What biome are we in here anyway? Uh, why can I not see what biome I'm in? Mountains, wooded mountains, right? So yeah, the iron farm is not terribly far from, from our little town, but this is the path that when you walked along it from spawn, you could see a lot of these terrible, uh, chunks in the distance. So see this, this mountain loading in, I made all of that and some of it was being built and some of it was shaving away and some of it was um for different like purposes and stuff but essentially if you walk over this way you'll be able to see some of the displacement zone um, loading in i might have to get on the other side of the trees to really see it like there's one get in here Yeah, so like there is, there's some of it. So let's go take a look there. But you can see these huge chunks. Like there's just this thing here. And then there's also these giant pits taken right out of the landscape. So if I land on this, you'll be able to see. Right? So like there's just these huge pieces of the world that were corrupted when we moved it over from a Mojang realm. Uh, over to to a regular server 
uh, and there's some floating bits and I'm still kind of cleaning up the stuff that looks really ridiculous. No one really comes over here anyway. It is really bizarre, I agree. Uh, but you'll be able to see where I started to clip it back. So there's all this stuff here. And then about here with this mountain, you can see that a lot of it starts to get a lot smoother through here on the left hand side. All this, this was all problematic. All of this stuff that was here. That's not really part of the problem. That's just weird extreme hills, natural Minecraft spawning. If I just land on this tree, no, oh good. So all of this had to be terraformed and removed and changed around and stuff. This is all as it was. Uh, this I had to shave down and then you can see that this is where the displacement zone kind of continues in, in that direction. It goes east. Um, but if we travel over here, now that I've loaded these chunks in, if we go back over to spawn, which is what this area is, this is the spawn zone. Do I have any ender pearls on me? I don't. I should probably grab some. Is there none in there? There we go. So if we travel this way, now that I've loaded in the distance, like all that stuff is now loaded in, and you're walking along here, you get the cool, you know, the weird vanilla Minecraft stuff, but the mountain range looks much nicer. It's got this, you know, it looks like a natural kind of area. Whereas if we look over our shoulder, you can see these weird towers. So this section here used to look like like that like one of these things like there was there was one of these chunks that was like right there this was a giant skyscraper thing like it was a lot of fun to kind of put in some green belts and and really kind of make it look natural it was a fun challenge and it was a nice way to play minecraft at the end of the day when you didn't have to worry about it uh i did not keep any uh, the biome data is still there. I didn't change anything back end. I did it by hand with a pickaxe because we needed some we needed some stone and we needed a bunch of stuff. So that's what I did. Yeah, it's a really weird, really weird setup. But I, yeah, it was fun to to sort out. Uh, so now we can go into the Nether over here. This is really informal, this this nether portal. I want to do something nicer with it, but I don't know what. So it's daytime. We're going to have to deal with whatever our, uh, I think our bed spawn is back at the cabin. I don't know how many people on stream have seen this either, but this is one of my favorite builds on the server. Very cool. I really want to come in here and, and change some stuff when we get stairs and slabs in the red nether brick. It's going to be awesome. Thanks, man. I really like it. This, actually, to give you guys some bearings, so this this big portal is the main portal in the, in the Dartmouth Meadows. And then this portal here in the yellow, that actually goes to the Inn on a Bridge. This goes to the meadow beyond that. And then this, we actually don't have a too far of a, of another hike to get to the end. Uh, the nether fortress is just down there. Not nether fortress, excuse me, the um, stronghold. The stronghold. Looks like we're missing some torches. I'm not happy with the way that one of our main paths from the hub turned out though with the new sandstone changes. I like sand. It's the top of sandstone. That is really noisy and I dislike. I had planned on doing something with this build, but we never got around to it. But this is the portal into the end fortress. The end stronghold, I think, yeah. Do I have anything in here that I need? Don't think. Got lots of food. And this is underneath the end island. We've got this stuff all 
floored and minimal um, minimal spawns for Endermen, which is nice. And then we also have the Endermen. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to have to turn down these noises. Uh, music and sound. Hostile creatures. There's an Endermite right up there. And they always try to get them. And then they just fall. And they go straight out the bottom of the world. Uh, which is nice. Uh, but we have quite a few Eyes of Ender and Ender Pearls. And it's been a while since we've needed anything. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And then down this way, I haven't finished this tunnel yet. I think I've got the ice in. But I need to decorate this. And then we've got the transport down to the bottom. I'm going to take the water out of this because I don't like the way that it looks when you when you come down. But then this is the ender ender. For the longest time, we didn't have a three wide path and it was bugging everybody on the server. So I, I took the time to make it three wide. It still goes down to a one wide at the end just because I haven't had the extra carpet to put everything down. Or did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I did sort it out. I just love the way that this thing looks. Yeah, it looks like I did. Makes it a lot, feels a lot safer when you come out here, that's for sure. So, we need to grab our goodies. Shovel. I'm going to put everything back here that I don't need just in case something bad happens. these I leave my elytra on for now I guess I can just have to remember not to leave these behind and the sword is this one so we leave this here because it's got um, sweeping edge on it and it makes a big difference. Probably just put these all in number slots. So I've got, how many pickaxes here do I have to repair? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a shovel. So let's see how long this takes. Now, for now, we're just spitting the ender pearls out into the void because we have so many, we just don't know what to do with them. Eventually, I'm going to put a water stream off to the left here that's going to take those ender pearls back and put them into the same system. So, we're going to have to do probably a couple swipes per pair of, of uh, pickaxes, but be good we get a chance to hang out and chat i'm not sure if it's faster just to hold one item or whether it's better to hold two i guess we could always test it so a light oh that's why it's taking so long because my elytra were done let's just switch that out uh that's pretty much done i'm curious how this is going to work if we just have the one item. This is not a one hit farm. I wish it was. I think it might be faster to do one item at a time. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I took all my armor off. It was just the elytra that I left on because I, I needed to actually repair them. I didn't realize I only had 16 levels. I'm going to grab some levels before I go, too. I'm not sure why. This is Il Mango's um, build. His design. And I can't remember why... Why it's not a one-hit kill. 
I don't remember. There's an explanation for it. Do you guys know? Yeah, I just, I know, I know that there's a certain fall damage for them, but, um, cause I did that at the other ender, ender. We had a small ender ender when we first started, um, when we first started the, um, the server. And that's still here. We'll take a look at that before we go. And that's definitely a full, they were down to like one or two hits. It wasn't one, but it for whatever reason, we couldn't. I couldn't get it to work with just one. I think it's because it was so far down that it didn't work out. Oh, no problem, Jared. You're talking about Citadel Cafe, I think? Because you wrote in. We don't get very much mail in the Citadel Cafe, so anybody that writes in always gets at least a, a, a option to be read if it's relevant and fun and all that kind of stuff. We have so much mail on the spawn chunks that we can't read it all um, on the show. We have to choose one out of like 10 or 12 emails a week. I try to reply to everybody. Sometimes it's easy because sometimes the emails are nice and short and they're easy to answer. But other times people write novels and I feel bad replying with short replies. But like I, I don't have time to write like a page long email to everybody that writes in. We've got a great email um, from a listener coming up on the show this Monday. Um, I'll tease it. I won't. I won't spoil it. But it has. It has to do with uh, gaming and accessibility, which I thought was really cool. Almost there. Oh, I know the reason why. It just. I just clued in. The reason why this isn't a one, uh, a one-hit farm is because the platform that they spawn on is built just below the first sub chunk. So it's, uh, this is the reason why that there's so many endermen here is, is why it's not a far drop. So you, you sacrifice the one hit, um, kill for the number of endermen and how quickly this thing fills up with 70 endermen. I knew there was a reason. Uh, so let's take Betty back and let's put uh, Sweeping Edge. Oh, no. Let's do that. And let's see. We're going to keep... So this is Efficiency 4, Silk Touch Mending. Switch that out. Mending on my axe, I should probably fix that too. Which pickaxe do we want? Gentle Jenny. And I thought I had, I thought I had another fortune pickaxe, but maybe I don't. Oh, there it is. Harriet the hammer. Remember to grab my armor. All right, helmet, leggings. And boots plus the elytra. Oh, I've got two gentle jennies. I mean, they're the same pickaxe, but I didn't realize I had named two the same. So this doesn't have mending on it, so I can't fix that here. This does. So it's just these last three. Uh, the picks were just, it was a, something I started doing when I was. Um, started on the server and it was just a fun way of i was kind of doing like this little neon farmer role play so all of the the names of the of the um weapons and items had girls names but they were like country girls like betty lou and Susie jane and that kind of stuff it's kind of stereotypical but it's just it's kind of a fun cartoony thing to do uh, but i was also using it to uh, kind of denote which items had silk touch and which were like fortune pickaxes and which were efficiency and so as I got higher up in the game with with different enchantments the names would be more aggressive so like Harriet the Hammer and Debbie the Destroyer are my my super duper efficiency five 
um, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty good. Yeah, so I've got Helen Hackersmith and Gentle Jenny and Sally Scoop. And then uh, I think Betty is just my sword. And then, so Edna the Ender is, or is the uh, is the one for down here. And then the other ones are Soft Touch Sally. We've got Light Touch Lily. Hey, thanks for the follow. I'll give you a tease, Platinum Jewel, because I recognize your username. I'm pretty sure pretty sure we were writing we're reading your email on the show if it had something to do with uh gamer accessibility then that's your email and that's the one that i picked to read on the show i just teased it to the to the um, chat room here before you showed up and thanks i'm glad you love the sponge chunks i like making the sponge chunks it's a lot of fun where do i leave off uh light touch lily gentle jenny glass jaw gale gertie gutters Diamond Shovel. This one isn't named because it's not a full Enchanted Shovel. And then Harriet the Hammer and Wendy the Stone Whisperer. Um, which is odd. That's a gentle name, but she's not a she's not a silk touch. And then... Where did I have... Oh, there's Debbie the Destroyer. Yeah. Okay, so... Grab that. That goes back in here. And then I've got... Gwendolyn is my is the the sword that i use at the other farms uh with sweeping edge so like the blaze farm or the spider spawner stuff like that i do not need all of these ender pearls it's much more uh fun to run this now that it's a three wide three wide gap it was a little bit crazy before oh thanks man i like having fun with naming naming the items i like this too I like this dual elevator look. If I have any big drops like this in the in the overworld, I want to make something similar. I really like how clean you can make it with just a pressure plate and a trap door. So a trick here is that these are stone pressure plates and this is an iron trap door, but the trap door is placed sideways. So when, when it swings open, it swings open this way. It doesn't swing down. Uh, and because if you walk in fast enough, you get in there before the trap door lowers. And then away you go. Just that easy. But it's a really nice clean look. I like the look a lot to it. So like if I get on this, see, it opens sideways. If you have it open down, it doesn't work. You you bump into it. Like if I try to walk this way, like I, I hit the trap door. But if I walk this way, it goes through me and it doesn't block. It's a fun little fact. I need to decorate this place too. I don't think there's any room in these for more. No. No room for more ender pearls. Let's put it back here somewhere. Ah, let's leave them up there. So folks wanted to see the other Ender Ender, and that's down this way. Yeah, I agree. The connected textures is really nice. I think there's a water drop down here too, but I wasn't sure if we filled it in, so I didn't want to jump. Oh, there is. I did this to freak out Alistair, so that goes straight out into the void, but there's glass here. But you can't tell that when you jump down through. <laughs> so it's a little bit freaky. Um, but this is the original Ender Ender that we retired. So this is real close to a 40 block drop for them. Uh, and what it does, if I can get back there, is all the Ender Pearls are shot up into this old school um, block elevator. They're collected when they die. And we had it so that they would die automatically. Or when you stepped on pressure plates that were here, these pistons would, would um, extend uh, blocks and that the Enderman's feet would be here. If they fell the full distance, they would die pretty much instantly. But not all of them died. And so what would happen is they would hit the bottom 
and then they'd teleport up into our little safe zone at the top here. And it was a real problem. We had Endermen everywhere um, because they can teleport on top of glass. So they were just bouncing up into the hallways here. And it was really, really bizarre. Um, but yeah, so it's been it's been a little bit of a trip to learn how to, to sort all that out. And the other room we've got looks really cool too because we've got some water in this one. And so this is like this viewing area that looks out onto the void. And these are all the pillars from the Ender Dragon fight. And we've just got some water kind of flowing out over the edges. And I can actually, I can go outside and we can take a look at what it looks like out here. So if we go up, this is, I think, the first portal that we made after the first Ender Dragon fight. But you can see there's that kind of glass room that puts out the water and stuff. And we have a bunch of these other things lined up as well. And then the other, do I have my elytra on? I do. Oh, I didn't grab my rockets. All right, never mind. But yeah, the other, the Endermite's over there. And that's where all the other Endermen are. Uh, I think I have to go up top anyway. And then these are our two um, Ender Dragon fight towers because the Ender Dragon can't destroy that stuff. And there's no ladders inside. It's just water elevators. And so it makes it a lot easier to fight the Ender Dragon. Whoop. So now that all my stuff is repaired, I think it's a good time to call it a stream. I'd like to do more building in the end, but we're still fighting the Ender Dragon. We haven't revealed all 20 of the, um, all 20 of the, whatchamacallit, um, gate portals. What did I do with my, oh, they're in the Black Shulker, aren't they? Um, the end gateways, I think is what they're called. There we go. Yes, we haven't revealed all of those yet. So until we're done fighting the dragon, I don't think we're going to be building a whole lot in the end. But so I'm just going to take to the skies and fail to do so. Wow. Twice. Server lag. There we go. So yeah, you can see where we are with the inn and the new textures. It's been an interesting trip with these new textures. They've reverted the wheat from being neon back to this nice golden color, but everything here is really high contrast. Like all these blocks, the grooves in the bricks are all really dark. I'm not really sure I like it. I'm not sure. But I think that the last time I've streamed, I've also finished this waterfall too. So that's in there. This is all new. And I sort of finished this bridge too. I'm not really happy with it, but there's not a whole lot you can do. Just a little wooden footbridge, but it just feels a little bit odd. And I don't exactly know how to fix it. But I'm happy with the way this looks. And then we've got it connecting to a bunch of different paths. And this goes off to like some builds from some other server members. And I like this. This little bridge turned out nice. But the diagonal bridge was was challenging. So if I take back to the skies, I will say that's probably a good place to end this stream. If you've enjoyed this, then check out my YouTube channel. It's just my name, Joel Duggan. Uh, you can also listen to myself and Pixel Riffs talk about Minecraft on the Spawn Chunks. And you can find that at thespawnchunks.com or on your favorite podcatcher app, which is also where you can find the Citadel Cafe, which is where this server got its name. So thanks for hanging out, folks, and I will see you next time.